improve the timing in your golf swing by following this process. I get so many golfers that say that they just didn't have their timing today or they, they, they kind of lost the way and quite often it can be down to too many technical thoughts, too many things going on within their swing, within their brain and today is about simplifying it to get your swing timing back on point. So what exactly is the timing in the golf swing? Well, to me, it's the coordination of your body uh, between your body and the club to get that contact on the ball, to get some consistency, the timing of all of the body parts and the club working together to get that strike. And the first thing I want you to think about in terms of getting that timing, getting that good tempo in the swing is think about the pressure in your grip. Okay, so if we're saying zero out of 10 would be letting go of the club and 10 would be strangling the club, I want you to think of about a three out of 10. So I want you to grip the club, hold enough to hold the club, but I really don't want any pressure at all in the grip. As soon as we do that and we, we address a ball here or, or as a practice swing, there's no tension in my body. So it allows me to swing much freer in the swing. I can. I can feel very loose as I'm swinging the golf club. As soon as we get very tight and grip the club really hard, it's very difficult to get the timing because we're so tense in the swing that the body isn't moving as free as it should be. The next thing I want you to think about, you've got that light grip pressure. The next thing is controlling your breathing, okay? You find this when you're under pressure, you're in competition, you might be on that first tee, and we start breathing in and out really quickly, control the breathing. We see it in top sportsmen, in, in all different sports, under the extreme pressure. Control the breathing, breathe in and out really slowly, and that's gonna help you stay nice and relaxed and help control that timing. Okay, so now from a swing point of view, as I said, a lot of people, when they struggle with the timing, they're struggling with the rhythm, they, they've got too many technical thoughts, okay? So I want you to just empty your head, especially do this in practice, and, and I want you to hit some very slow swings. So if, if we're saying your swing is 100%, I want you to start off with 50% max, okay? So you're going to grip it really slowly, practice the breathing techniques, and I want you to swing nice and slow again no swing thoughts at all and as you swing nice and slow here it's going to give you that freedom allowing the body to move as it should do and just get a feel for what the body and what the club's doing so swing in nice and slow get a feel for that okay and then what you can do as you'll find that that striking will very quickly improve once you swing it nice and easy you can also do some half swings. Again, a lot of guys that, that tend to get, to lose that timing, just do some half swings. Get a feel for, you know, what, what's actually happening and, and just go sort of waist to waist, get a feel for some half swings and just get that strike, get that confidence back with the strike. As you develop and as you get into the full swings, one thing that I see with all top players is a smooth takeaway okay so quite often if you if you lose your timing you lose that rhythm we tend to snatch away you know we've got that tense grip we're snatching away and it's very difficult to get the timing so you know the one player that comes to mind in particular when i was growing up colin montgomery very slow very smooth takeaway we do see it in other players in this modern era Think of someone like a Colin Morikawa that's very slow and deliberate. And as we as we have this slow takeaway, we can very smoothly and, very, and get into our swing, get the timing right rather than snatching back. Uh, and that technique can kind of go all over the place. Stay tuned to the final part. I've got a training aid that will transform your timing. So if you're one for training aids, then I use tempo trainer some of you might oh, uh, might have seen the orange whip as well very simply it's got a grip on it's got the heavy ball at the end super whippy 
and this is great for tempo so you know really getting a feel for a nice smooth tempo as soon as you get quick you know that ball's going to snatch back and it's going to be difficult to, to move it in the way it should do so grab yourself a tempo trainer an orange rip whip you can pick one up off amazon uh, online um, great training aid you know something that you can do at home perhaps you could use it to warm up with but it's really good for improving your timing improving your tempo hope you found that useful today guys some simple tools for you to apply keeping it super simple get that timing back as always post any comments down below look forward to seeing you again very soon